Hmm. Already a tough choice. Uh, I usually like taking skill books. Uh, but we can also get a key. I wish I could see what the other event was first, so I could uh, decide whether or not I want the key. I think in this case I'll take the skill books. I think the twins really want skill books. I'll most likely use the key as well for the infinite skill book. Man, yeah, I really do not like the new UI. I wish the action count was to the left. I feel like it's harder to see, like, quickly. I guess this is okay. I mean, discard skills could have just been up here, but I guess this makes it kind of more like... Reminds me of Slay the Spire, where you had, like, your discard over here and drop out over here. Still not really a fan. Start by leveling up Helia. Okay, already uh, all the best options. I guess Dark Sun is alright. I'll take a combustion. CC resist, I'll take it. The, uh, can't quite kill the apprentice maid to start off. It's not ideal. Take this, and then maybe I can find a potion to transform into a key. Okay, increase max mana, and uh, hope for the best in this fight. Not loving armor, please. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Okay, at least we dodged. We get stunned. Okay, this is more than a basic attack, so I'll do this first. Consider whether to heal Selena or not. I guess it's fine. Okay, easy dodge. I can get a basic attack. Oh wait, it was guaranteed because that was the last card in the deck. Perfect. How much does this do? Wait, 19%? That doesn't that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, this guy doesn't have armor actually, so it should be uh, 19. Oh, so it's just that m minus the percent. So this doesn't quite kill. But we're at full HP because we got some nice dodges. found a key anyways, so I can do this, or I can get a random relic instead of the infinite skill book, which is probably better because I, can, I can't do any, any of the rest of these. Yeah, let's get a random relic. Mana battery, not bad. If I get solar storm, then it's kind of like costing two. Let's see who we recruit. Am I really going to grab an another run with Azar? 
my carry. Well, I did him last time, so I won't do this time. I consider Charon to kind of have like pain comp synergy. I can consider Joey as well for pain comp synergy and more healing. Or I can consider Lien, who I think synergizes the most of the twins. Uh, having a tank in the third slot is not bad. You get a decent number of buffs and stuff. Um, out of these, though, I think I'll go with Joey. I think Joey's really strong. Okay, we found the Solar Storm. Will I take it over protecting gas? Whatever, I'll take Solar Storm, we'll have an easier early game, especially with a mana battery. And a ring. Well, since we're going high mana, Power of the Full Moon is now a little better. Uh, but actually, pure healing isn't that good because I have two healers right now. So I can consider taking one of these instead. I like Bloody Moon more. And take another Luna Ring. some good equipment. Not really what I was looking for. Quantum protocol? What's that? Enjoy, enjoy lurking and thanks for the uh, recommendation yeah i've never i haven't seen anyone streaming this game either uh quantum protocol but it actually seems like yeah a really interesting game uh converting do i really want to convert a purple equipment for gold feels like a waste i'll take the bread and hopefully i find enough bread to get golden bread here all right not the best starting hand I guess I can kill one of these. <laughs> of course I get crit and they target the same one. What is this? Things are already going poorly. Where's my damage? There's my damage. It's not enough to one shot though. Whatever, just don't hit Selena again. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I might already be lacking some damage here. Stop it, why do they always hit the one with the healing gauge? Okay, there's my solar storm at the very bottom of my deck. level Joey and add some card draw. Hmm, I should consider adding some damaging moves. The chemical weapon is maybe not the best with the twins though. Weakening smog. I'll take a paralyzing dart. Actually, I should stop removing basic attacks. I'm clearly lacking damage right now. Just my uh, default, because I normally don't take a second healer. I guess I'll do this. I really need skill books. And I'm not going to equip this anyways. 
Okay, prominence, thank you. I'll leave the basic attacks in for now. I can fix prominence, I guess. That's not the best. Maybe fixing dark sun is good. Oh, and the card draw. I guess continuous draw. Okay, infinite skill book in celestial. Lucy rare though. Lucy rare, it feels like it's really hit or miss. I can get something broken or something not so good. I think right now I'm kind of struggling. So I would like to have infinite skill book. Man, already upgraded Sunring is actually not ideal. I wanted to get Celestial onto Sunring. That kind of sucks. Uh, in this case, I'll just take another Prominence. And I think I'll save the Celestial for when I get a Sunring. Keys? Sure. I can open a chest. Okay, maybe the other chest. Go look, healing book. <laughs> it's actually fairly early in the run. I could go for 505 error. Uh, I think it's not very good with the twins, though. They really want to have their solar flame lunar card and stuff. So, yeah, I think I'll just grab these. Another bloody moon. Sure. Not the best. Like, we're stuff like chemical substance, I think, is good. Need a little more damage here. I'll actually keep these basic attacks for now. Maybe it's inting. Ooh, memory fragment. I'll take it. Guess I should use this scroll. Nope. Okay, how much? 27. Oh, it's not quite enough to one shot these guys. Solar storm. I keep forgetting I have that. Oh, I have enough bread for golden bread. There's the elite fight. I guess I want five mana first. So I'll take this fight. Oh, I can kill this thing. And this and then Lunar Ring buffs. Dodge. Okay, easy stun resist. Wait, I totally forgot I even had mana battery. Okay, wait, I can get a huge dark sun if I swap, or I, I just solar storm. Okay, there we go. Increase max mana. I can buy another key. And I can buy a lifting scroll here. Maybe I'll need it 
in this fight. Oh no, I think we're fine. If I do this, and then health augmenting patch, that's 23, it's not quite enough damage. Instead I can do this in Bloody Moon. Oh wait, this is gonna hurt. Whatever, it's fine. Solar Storm. We just assume it kills and we heal first because we're greedy. Easy. I think I'll take any amount of pain accuracy I can get for Helia here. rest of these. Let's see, I think this area looks promising for a lifting scroll. No. Uh, how about over here? Uh, we missed every lifting scroll. Uh, maybe it would be like over here. Out of scrolls. Okay, well we teleport down to it, easy. Take a change of plans. No sun ring, so I won't use the celestial yet. And hmm. do I want to go for Crimson Wilderness? I guess I should do it to get better at it. Yeah, let's look for that uh, vending machine around here somewhere. Here it is. Oh wait, I didn't remove my basic attacks. Oh whatever, it should be okay. Sunring would be real nice right now. I guess I'll solar storm one of these. Wow, I crit. It's nice. Uh. draw a card. It's also Bloody Moon. I think if I just chemical substance her and then prominence the boss. And that's fine. keep forgetting about it. I used to see it all the time in the old UI and now I keep forgetting to draw 
during my turns. This is, uh, not sure how much damage actually. We just stun the doll, then we kind of get like a free DPS turn. I should uh, get card draw off this, so do that first. Prominences are nice. I think next turn I'll prominence the uh, the doll. This turn I'll prominence the witch. Resist. Okay, wait. That's that's also good. Do basic attacks do? Oh, it basically one shot. Okay, that's good. Let's do 13 versus 11 damage. So I guess this is better than Lunar Ring. I can toss that. Do this. This is okay. Go forth my solar storm. Another crit, nice. And that should count. Oh wait, Helia's just been critting left and right. I should only have what, like 10% crit chance? 12%. Attack plus 15%, it's not bad. Double check the shop, but I don't have very much gold. Oh, I'll buy an item scroll though. Give me something good. One soul stone, that's alright. Probably is worth the amount of gold. I should use a skill book first. Still can't find the sun ring. Healing Vapor is alright since it gives a lot of buffs. Oh, I got the Lunar Curtain thing. I guess it's alright on prominence. It's not ideal since I typically would want Lunar Curtain before using prominence uh, to get um, two stacks of Solar Flame. That versus cost reduced by one. I could put this on Paralyzing Dart, for example, since I probably won't play it as soon as I find it, but I'll just save it for the right turn. I think in the end, increasing the burst damage of prominence is still better. And now, even though Token of Valor is good, I can gamble for a good legendary. Come on. Okay, wait, actually the best legendary? Okay, now we'll always land Solar Flame no matter what. Very, very nice. And I guess I won't forge anything else. Let's go add this uh, memory fragment in. And oh, I, actually, before I forget, the uh, golden bread as well. Oh, wait, I can forge these two actually. Sure. Okay, no thanks. Transfer scroll. Healing power. I actually might not really need it that much since I have two healers. 
Oh, white moonlight. Oh, wait, no, I don't need it because I'll always land a uh, solar flame. I'll take a skill book. Actually, I forgot I was going for uh, Crimson Wilderness, which means I need to save my keys. So, uh, I need to buy a key, and if I can't find another key here, then I just wasted my soul stones. Your skills. Okay, I'm not really a fan of these. Reorganize can be good. Maybe not. I can, like, copy Solar Storm, for example. I think I'll take a Protecting Cast. Oh yeah, clean all this up. down solar storm on this thing and hope it uh, kills. I'll just cut this one. Draw three cards. the Lunar Ring. It's a bit annoying. I should probably have been looking for more damage skills on my healers. Currently a bit lacking. is that okay it's enough oh I could have played that I should level everyone up a bit. Okay, found the sun ring. Very nice. Take a healing stars. Guess I can fix this. Uh, still haven't found a key, so this could be a little bad. You look at the sun ring value. Boom. And of course, we all get stunned, none of them get stunned. It's okay, I can uh, unparalyze myself with this, or unstun. And then uh, Bloody Moon will actually kill. So with Lunar Ring. I guess I'll do that. This is not the ideal hand when I'm still stunned. I guess I'll just throw this down. And take some damage. Man, it's so hard to see barrier too. I really don't like this. Although a good change is that you can see the amount of barrier separate from your health bar at least. Of course you hit the same target twice in the only one without barrier. Let's just kill this off and everything else should be fine. scrolls. I do like lifting scrolls. I think I really want to search for 
another key if I can. Well, this doesn't help me. I guess I can go for the time limit. I don't think I would actually be able to do it, but whatever, we go for it. I don't really like playing that fast. waited once. Well, this can be a little painful. Easy dodge. And uh, yeah, I forgot that uh, protecting gas is not an ally buff actually, so it didn't kill off these guys. But it's fine. Just trying to greet a little bit so I can heal him up, but maybe this is not the best. Whatever this should kill, right? Now I can heal up. Storm, kill it. Not quite. This will kill though. This will be fine. It's just a healer. She doesn't do any damage. One shot. Okay, this is a way to get a key. You can toss in a potion. Oh yeah, wait, I should have been paying attention to where the um, vending machine was. Ah, oh, here it is. Buy the key. I won't need white moonlight. I will want the skill book though. Where's the uh, vent? I feel like it's normally around the middle of the map. Here it is. Ah, uh, mapping scroll, but I don't have lifting scroll. Is there any here? Only a transfer scroll. So it's actually a waste to use it here if I can't do anything with it. I didn't get very many soul stones in the end, so I won't be able to have six mana going into Crimson Wilderness. Now this setup is actually pretty weak as far as things go. Uh, I'll see how it is after this. Oh, I have the time limit. Um, that's not very good. Okay, easy dodge, actually. We're fine. Just do this. I don't like playing under time pressure. Oh, 
Oh wait, it, uh, yeah, it works like that. I wasn't... Oh, faster! Quickly! Oh wait, no, I have 30 seconds, plenty of time. And I got another solar storm, so actually I can greed to, like, heal up a little bit if I find some healing. Yeah, easy. Plenty of time to spare. That's why I picked Solar Storm. Easy early bosses. Free rare book. And eight. Oh wait, I have exactly enough soul stone. No, no, no. It's not enough because I needed two more to level up Joey. Which is a little unfortunate. Double check the shop. But also, I didn't find a lifting scroll, right? So, no mapping scroll to be used here. Okay, let's see who we get. Please, uh, some good damage. Okay, wait, a very interesting choice here with the Iron Heart. So, this actually kind of brings together the overhealing, and now I can actually turn that into damage as long as I find Shield Bash for him. And I think this basically has to be the option here. Definitely not a third healer. Caron is okay, but Iron Heart is a lot better. Okay, already not off to the best start. Innocent armor, maybe. Can with this comp I actually could get value out of Shield of Retribution. I still don't really like this card. And lane cover is okay. I guess I'll take that. Shockwave, I'll take it. Okay, protective party barrier or high energy mission are both good. Dual. It was also good. Actually, I am lacking damage, so I should probably take something like dual. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Shield bash, thank you. Shield charge, thank you very much. And a second shockwave, probably not. Also not solar bolt though. I guess I, I'll take a healing stars. I do want a few more lunar curtain skills, and I don't really care that much about chemical weapon. Okay, wait. My relics, and then I have to like clean up my inventory. Okay, well, I, I don't think I'll be using Pocket Watch of Chaos. I really don't like this. It's like minus one draw every turn. Let's uh, take time storage, even though I don't think I'll really use it. I can actually smith these since I don't need the paint accuracy anymore. Probably would have been better not to, but. Oh, wait, this is kind of funny. So I can equip Hand of Stars on Helia and get away with it because I have all this pain accuracy on the Devil's Horn. So I can get that 15% attack. The rare time you'll see Hand of Stars on Helio and it's not hinting. And uh, clean this up a bit, remove these. I'll probably fix Shockwave over Shield Bash. I feel like it's a bit too expensive. I only have 5 mana. Oh yeah, wait, I actually have full set of skills and no more basic skills left. That's pretty nice. And so with my eight uh, soul stones, where I can't quite upgrade this because Joey's level two, um, what do I do with these? I can level Helia. Okay, I definitely want card draw actually, so let's grab card draw. I think hasty counter is the best here. Search more, I think. I actually now I want to be looking for this shield charge to like bash things in. Oh, you know, he still had a basic attack left. Oh, I could have removed this over the protect. And then, uh, I can level Joey. I don't need even more healing, right? I'll grab a chemical weapon. Alright, well, this is decent going into Crimson Wilderness. I think I've, I've had worse uh, walking in. Actually, wait, no, with this uh, sun ring, as long as I draw the sun ring, we should be able to blow these things up. How much is Dark Sun with the two cost? 34 damage. Not enough. I'm building up a big shield charge isn't that good. 
Intoxication is what, like five damage? So if I got this, but um, one more be 48 damage. So it's not quite enough. Even if I had like three costs at the top, which actually I can't really do right now. Okay, out of all these, I think I'll drop the chemical weapon. At least Solar Flame will always hit here, actually. It's 25 damage, so with two... Oh no, I can only do one buff with it. This is, um... 25, 38. I'm missing 12 damage, so if I get four buffs, which... I don't think the, um, over barrier is enough to do it with Lunar Ring. So I should actually wait first and then heal up whatever damage we take. Okay, please don't all hit Joey. Okay, that's kind of painful, but okay, the last one did hit him at least. But they all focused them. Okay, so now with Solar Flame on him, he should die. So I should try and focus something else. It's so awkward playing with only uh, five mana. Because I don't really have one cost stuff. If I toss Dark Sun... I guess Solar Storm can work. Like Solar Storm this guy. And Lunar Ring, and it'll kill this. Or I just don't hit them at all, and I, for example, do this. Lunar Ring, Bloody Moon, to heal up a lot. This is really painful. And the crit. Uh, this 12 damage bleed. And she discarded our shield charge too. I forgot about that. Um, this is kind of bad. They're both freaking countering too. Shield bashing. Protecting gas won't help me here. Guess I'll put up a barrier so we don't die quite yet. Probably want to discard search more for mana. I'm not sure if I'll dive to the counter or not. So I think I'll do this first. Crit! What is this? Yo, I guess I should wait for him to hit first. Oh, and we got stunned. Okay, well, punished, I guess. Everyone's dying. Do I need to kill her first so they stop healing? This just isn't gonna work out. I don't have enough damage.
and I got double stunned. I guess I should use a potion. for healing. Take Bloody Moon and Lunar Ring, I guess, and discard this one so I can play everything. So I don't want her to cast that, so I should play a Bloody Moon first, even though I lose a bit of healing. Oh, wait, I didn't get the over... oh, whatever. Yeah, oh boy. We're now at Fog. She's almost dead. So any any one of these buffs will kill her. It's a bit awkward because I can't prominence first, which I really want to do. Am I gonna shield bash this turn? I think I'm not going to Lunar Ring this turn. So I can, for example, Bloody Moon, Healing Stars, Shockwave, and it'll do a lot of damage. I can try and get Prominence down. Is this not enough? 72 damage, also not quite enough to one shot. I think I have to uh, land a prominence. Everyone's just gonna bleed to death. Okay, at least we have a ton of barriers this turn. Of course, it stuns. Whatever, at least they hit the same target, so it's okay. And this is kind of awkward as well, but... Come on, I needed Lunar Curtain moves. Um, well, we're get I guess we're just going to let him hit and uh, do this. Okay, at least they're hitting all into the barrier. Draw three. Oh, come on, I, I swear I have a million Lunar Curtain moves, where are they? Bloody Moon should be okay in the next turn. The buffs and everything should probably kill them. Wait, wait, that did so much damage, what the... Oh, I guess all the over barrier. Okay, he doesn't go first, right? It should be one. Yeah. So we're fine. I'm just like, Solar Storm and he dies. Oh, no, 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 there's one card left. So. Okay, wait, that with all the buffs. Okay, it, actually, everything is fine. What were we even worried about? Everything's fine. I think fixing Shockwave is too expensive. 
I can't really fix anything else. Like, yeah, what do I even fix? I can consider Lunar Ring instead. I think actually this is basically the best that I can do. Okay, this is a little better. Two two gunners in the back. If I draw my Sun Ring, then uh, we're in good shape. My change of plans. Oh, we're gonna get shot by this guy. Okay, I think I don't care that much about shield charge. I'll draw three. I still couldn't find it. Stop it. This is not ideal. I don't want to lose too much heal engage, but then it's also a waste. Whatever, Joey can take a hit. Prominence this guy, and then he should die to buffs. Wait, did she just give them taunt? Well, that's actually useful for me if I can draw my sun ring next turn. Actually play Sun Ring now. And use the Shield Bash. Solar Storm like this is okay. Oh wait, they actually counter like that. Easy dodge. It's a bit annoying. I guess I got a chemical weapon. I'll just save the mana for next turn. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, it's a little painful, but... Okay, there's the sun ring. Um, kind of late, but... Let's still do it. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have taunt! Wait a minute. Okay, wait, that's not good. Whatever, surely it's enough buffs. It was not enough buffs. Don't die, please. Okay, that's not good, but Helia will tank the damage. So, not the end of the world. The counter attack is really annoying though. Okay, wait, I can stun. And then spam Lunar Ring. Draw last. Okay, just uh. Just a little bit more. Uh. Okay, that kind of sucks. All my healing gauge. And I want to prominence first, but then she's going to hit. Frontline cover. Wait. How much is... That's not that much. Okay, it's actually bad if Helia takes the damage here, though. I 
wonder if it goes through the barrier or not with a counter. Just do this and then heal. Or we dodge, so it's actually fine. Everyone's negative HP. Okay, it's fine. She dies to Solar Flame. Okay, every fight has uh, definitely not been ridiculously close to death every time. I guess I'll save the hammer for something else later. I, I shouldn't be greedy with the bread, especially when I'm stacked up on bleed like this. Kind of painful. Okay, so we're gonna lose heal engage to bleed, and then he's gonna shoot, and then... Yeah, <laughs> and crit. Okay, wow, already down to 1 HP, Selena. Well, off to a wonderful start. I did have shield charge in the first hand, though. Somehow, with two healers, I didn't draw any healing skills. Okay, prominence is nice. I guess I can chemical weapon. I'd rather save the mana than do that. Um, okay, she's not in the worst position. We get double tap bleed. I guess it'd be if she gets double tapped and then one of them gets ricochet shot, that's a problem. I think I should prominence and then uh, health augmenting patch. I try and be a little bit greedy. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, we're fine. Oh wait, no, he dies because bleeding. Okay, well, goodbye, Joey. It's okay, we didn't need him anyways. These are not good options. Where's my healing? So I just get shot. Ouch. Let's let him go first. Crit! Well, I want a super prominence. And I can't heal that much. Our oh, healing stars is okay. Combustion instead. Okay, we dodged it. Okay, that's kind of bad. I guess we'll do this. I think this might be kind of doomed. Save the healing potion. Oh wait, do we get shot? Okay, no, no, that's one off. <laughs> that could have been bad. It's definitely not calculated. We can duel for free.
No more to, uh, hey, went to me, please. Yeah, we're kind of in a scary situation right now. I think I do this and play Bloody Moon. Let me healing stars, whatever he shoots here. Or he misses, so we're actually okay. So, I want to save probably change of plan Solar Storm for after next turn where he does the fanning dropping. so many cards. Okay, Revolver Fanning. It will, um, shoot Helia twice, Selena once. I can, uh, heal up, though. The Bloody Moon. I could also Lunar Ring into Bloody Moon. Selena gets shot twice. If I do this and heal her, it would heal for 32, which put me at 20. Oh, and over barrier, so I think that's fine, actually. Alright, I think I get barrier. So I can greed with the Lunar Ring. Otherwise, I can heal like this. The amount of healing is actually less. So, do this. Okay, this is fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, Solar Storm. Okay, we even dodged a hit. Uh, we did get crit by the second one, um, but it works out in the end. And uh, I guess Healy is just gonna get shot at the start of next turn as well. Very fun. only... wait, how much damage is it? Whatever, I'll be fine, right? Let's just drop first. 18 damage! Okay, wait a minute. Um, we're not bleeding though, so actually we can just save our potion. Be good. sucks. I don't want to put Lunar Curtain on him because he already has it. But to get the most efficient healing, I should. Okay, and then I can duel for free. I guess I should do that first. And sadly, I can't wait one more time. Uh, I feel like I can't really get away with playing Shield Bash. and then heal whoever gets shot here. Or not. Actually, I'll, I'll heal Helia instead. I hasty counter, a random person will get shot. That's the worst that could happen. It's possibly the worst that could happen. Actually, no, it's fine, it's fine. Um... This is starting to hurt, though. It's okay, we don't draw enough to proc this. So we're still fine. So I'll cut Flashbang Helia again. Of course, Solar Flame's about to run out again, because this thing only lasts three freaking turns. Um... I can play two Swiftness skills. 
If I can healing stars for Lunar Curtain, that'd be nice before this runs out. I think I kind of need Shield Charge here. Shield of Retribution I don't care about. Hmm, couldn't find another Swiftness. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to use the Fixed Skill here though, it costs so much. So I think a Bloody Moon here, and then see where the double tap hits. If it hits here, then it'll hit Helio, that's fine. Here I'll lose a lot of healing gauge, but I still want to draw, so I guess I'll do this first and see where this shoots. Then I can Prominence, and then Healing Stars. How much is Shield Charge at? So I can probably kill with Shield Charge next turn. I do this Healing Stars, um... I guess Selena, because at this point I don't care if Ironheart dies. Oh no no, he needs to do the shield charge action, so I do care, so I'll heal him instead. And uh... The twins get hit... Oh, it's kind of bad. But I always do this. So ricochet shot, so... Out of all my three cases, shooting uh, Helia is okay, and this thing means that like Selena will go to like negative HP. If I play this, Ironheart is the one who gets shot by this passive next turn. So actually, I should just heal Selena, and then no one should die. Oh wait, no, actually if Ironheart got shot, he would die. That was a mistake. Because uh, even my healing potion wouldn't be enough. Alright, well, everyone's going to be negative HP in just a moment. I got crit! Okay, whatever. It's not even enough. 54. I can add 13 damage to it, which is reduced by one fifth, so uh, approximately what 64 damage. So even with that, it's not quite enough. With the lunar ring, it'll be enough. I need to hit him one more time after that. Is the problem? Play this. I'll go down to four mana, lunar ring, and then I can. Sun Ring or Dark Sun afterwards if Helia doesn't die. If Helia does die, um, I guess we'll just find out. I guess I should try to make the twins not die. Wait, is this, this is enough to put him down anyways. So I won't use my um, healing potion. Wait, no, I'm too fast. I need to wait two times for his next turn. So instead he's going to get Ricochet shot off and I can't do anything about it. Um, whatever, I've come this far by saving my potions. Surely I can read a little more. 
or I could fish for absolute defense. Um, take the uh, random dodge. Actually, this this uh, will work with that memory fragment, so it's okay. I can grab a skill. Um, it won't proc this. Then we wait once and he'll double tap, and then we can kill him. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, I guess it doesn't matter what I draw, because I can't play it no matter what. Actually, no, it's bad to draw... An Iron Heart skill, I think, because if he dies, then he'll discard and draw. I think that's how it works. Um, okay, so double tap. Okay, who cares if Iron Heart dies, right? And it won't kill us, because we just wait one and it'll hit one of the twins, putting the other to negative HP. If it hits Iron Heart, he'll die, and that's fine. And then combustion, and then if combustion misses, then we die. Uh, otherwise, we win. Thank goodness. Okay, wow, what a- I was actually the hardest I've ever had to- <laughs> And if I didn't misplay so much at the start and let Joey die, it would have been easier. Okay, we did it. Another frontline cover. More healing. Whatever, somehow I feel like I was always lacking healing despite having two healers. So I won't avoid the healing skills. Let's get more relics. I never really take the other one. Seven max mana. Probably good, right? I just level the twins up. Grab random stuff. I don't really want them, but... Grab all the uh, Lunar Curtain abilities. I wonder if this is better because it'll give me more buffs as damage. And I guess more card draw. Can do this? Oh wait, no, no, it doesn't give healing. I'll just Put that on Iron Heart for more max health. This thing, I don't really want it. These items aren't that good. But I want to... Actually, is Hand of Stars that good? 15% attack is nice. Anyway, I guess I should um see my upgrade first. Cost reduced by 1. Shield Charge Solar Storm. Well, I think shield charge is better, so I'll take that over solar storm. So, this thing, I mean, the stats and stuff are pretty good, but imagine a random legendary, and I can reforge it too. And how important is debuff immunity first turn anyways? Okay, Pain Accuracy plus 10 would have been nice. I think currently I don't care that much about this. Continuous Regeneration means I get another buff for Solar Flame, but I think I'll um, reforge it. Get me something good. Um, okay, actually I think it was better than these options. Okay, but crit chance. Imagine. Okay, 
I'm gonna have crit iron heart oh, out of nowhere. Easy. Um, everything else is fine. Double double check, smithing. Okay. Probably want to transform something. Celestial. I don't have that much gold. I'm not even sure what skills I'm looking for, but I feel like I want two skill books. Um, yeah, let's go for this. Currently, I won't curse any of my items. Let's see what else I can get. Rare skills. What am I even looking for? Maybe something like Eclipse to replace Solar Storm and uh, use Eclipse plus Shield Charge. Or I guess Create Potions also fine. I wouldn't replace Shield Charge for either of the ones. Or I could Holy Grail the equipment that I cursed from the other area. Because I might just get garbage rare skill options. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Okay, I'll just save up for card draw and like leveling up Helia. of healing. Surely we can heal this all back. Which is this? 32? Okay, one shot this. Shield bash for way overkill. Okay, everyone is almost full HP. I guess I should just try and heal up a bit more. Okay, now everyone's full. Dodge. Something. Oh, wait, that didn't kill. There we go. Go book. Hmm, the rest of these is not that useful. I even looking for a dark moon. Maybe I should have chemical weapon. Just all in on more Helia damage skills. Another dark sun. I feel like I never play it though. And toss the combustion. Okay, now we're high mana Helia. It's time to pop off. So 
won't be that much damage, will it? Yeah, 36. Hmm. Easy dodge. Guess I'll just try and draw more cards. Sunring a bit late, but... Crit. This guy should die now. Well, not quite. Still not quite. Whatever, I just throw down a shockwave. There we go. I feel like I still need even more max mana, even though uh, most of the time I'm fine with 7. So I guess I'll save up for that instead of leveling up or anything. I should be able to have it get enough by then. Okay, Sunring turn run. It's uh, been a while since we've had that. In the end, the search more hasn't really been that useful. Thirteen damage. Shield bash actually might end up doing a lot. Probably die next turn. I'll just focus this guy next. Oh wait, he just died. Stop critting. Spend the turn to heal up. Mm, nothing has tracking, huh? Oh, yeah, this does. Still no blue equipment for me to curse. Keys. Actually, I have an abundance of items. Not exactly, but... I think I'll, I'll go for more gold. And sell these, at least. Item scroll, swiftness, transfer... I guess this is the last stage, so I can use transfer. Mapping scroll. Do I even have a lifting? I don't. Vitality. Midas scroll? Yeah. Um, not really what I was looking for though. Another Midas scroll. I guess I'll buy the key. Duel for free. 
or you can heal up any of the damage that they do. This is kind of annoying. Whatever. Do all this. I'll save mana for next turn. Ah, come on! Of course, literally, they both focus the same target. Okay. All my healing gauge is gone. I'll just kill this. Okay, but I can actually get good shield bash value. Not quite enough to kill, but sure. Crit. Alright, and this should just kill, right? Not, not enough. There we go. Oh wait, no, I wasn't full health. That's fine. Okay, wait, this cannot be a curse. Oh no, no, I want to have a curse and then remove it. So I'll take this. Go down here, curse the item. I mean, do I really need skill books? Who would I get the skills on in the end? What am I missing? I'm not sure if I changed too much about Joey in the end. I'll just grab more healing skills. I guess I should look for something to replace this basic attack. But I would still, yeah, I'd rather have it over one key. Now we go here and get rid of the curse. And then this is not a bad item. So I maybe shouldn't transform it. Because actually the 33 plus 33% 33 healing, it's pretty good. So let's do that. And I get oh it can't be unequipped. Okay, well. I was just randomly putting it on someone. But, uh... Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess. Skills? Protective party barrier. Wait, no, Starbreeze. Um, I do want to replace that basic attack, so I'll take this. Even though two shockwaves is too many. Double check everything. I can Midas scroll something if I wanted to. I also have all this extra stuff to turn into gold. Increase max meta. Yeah, I'll do this fight first and then see. Of course, it's Carl. I hate this freaking boss. Uh, this might be really hard. Transfer the buff somewhere else and do double solar storm. Right, I guess we should wait first, see who gets hit. Oh, wait, no, yeah, she stuns. Whatever, in that case, who cares about freaking solar storm? Maybe I'll just discard it, drop four. Come on, why the crits? Oh, shield charge is next. Okay, let me draw that. I 
I guess I'll transfer it to someone. I can just save two mana for next turn. So I really want to land prominence this turn, I guess. It's a lot of pain damage. That's okay. Two stacks. Now I can cast a million healing stars. Did the extra ones not count? Hmm. I didn't know how that's, that's how it works. It's a bit annoying. But this should kill this, right? Perma stunned. So I'll heal everyone like this. I don't care that much about paralyzing dart. Oh, let's see what she does. Whatever. Okay, all the over barrier is actually coming in handy here though. And this turn I want to shield charge. Double casting it will double it. Um, so I just need some way to get rid of this thing first. Not quite enough. So with a bit of healing first. Oh wait, no, I can't copy because I want to play Shockwave first. So... I can just heal like this. It's about to run out. I won't have enough mana. Whatever. I just copy it now and throw it down. Oh, it's such a waste. Okay, let's see if I draw something first. Sun Ring will not one shot. Um, I play this, and it hits one out of three. Or okay, if I play one, two, three. No, no, I can't do that before I shockwave. So, um, in this case, I can greed for a 50-50, where a chemical substance uh, evangelize here, then hasty counter. Oh, no, no, actually, I think it discards first, then reduces the cost, and so it's a guaranteed here. Um, I hope so. And then it should reduce the cost of shield charge with memory fragment. And then we can double- don't you dare stun. <laughs> we had all the CC resist. And now we double shield charge. <laughs> hey, we even freaking missed. Whatever, die, Carl. I hate this boss. Oh, we got two star rings. Alright, what was left here anyways? Oh, this, which I can't use. Oh, wait, no, no. Potion into key, I guess, is fine. Might as well buy these things. The rest of this doesn't matter. Can turn stuff into gold. So what I want to keep... I think more healing is nice. A second one onto Joey. Or just for the plus two attack. Sadly I don't have a lifting scroll here. Get rid of the transfer scroll. And I can get rid of this, who cares? How much... I never really use my consumables anyways, I try to play without them. 
How much is it? 500. Sure. Let's get rid of these. Surely you won't come back to bite us. And this... Some bread. Alright, perfect. Got a ton of gold that I can't even use for anything, sadly. Might as well buy this in case I'll use it. Actually, no, no, no. In the next place, I could have spent that gold. Okay. I guess I should use the book first and then can upgrade another shield bash. Sure. Cost reduced by one after a turn. I think that's nice on something like shield bash because I'll be holding it in my hand most likely. And... Was I going to smith anything? I could, oh yeah, I can smith Shadow Orb with one of these. I've actually all been okay. I'm not sure if I overkill people by that much for the party barrier to be worth it. I think I'll smith that. I actually got okay value out of time, tor uh, time storage in the end, so that's fine. Give me something good. Okay, wait, these are actually both very good choices for the strong turn one. Skill exchange count versus two mana. I feel like I can always use the mana, but also this makes it more consistent my turn one to get through my deck and find the cards I'm looking for. I think in the end I'll take Mana Flare. I'm a big fan of Mana Flare every time. Yeah, if I want to gamble for a good blue equipment, or double gamble for it, since the crit really doesn't matter that much in Iron Heart, it's more of a meme. Star Ring's actually good though, but I'm greedy. Well, this is not that good. But it's better than the crit. Let's, um. Oh, wait, no, no, I already forged twice. Alright, well, this is fine. Also, I have four soul stones left. I guess I can upgrade Iron Heart. Grab another duel. Take a weapon breaker and fix it. I think that's fine. We don't need double shockwave. Honestly, we don't even need any shockwaves. I feel like I don't care that much about it. Oh, it can be useful against the phase, though. I think this shield bash, I don't actually need to. Okay. This is fine. We don't need another dark sun. Trimming down a bit, but we keep a lot of um, Selena skills. Oh, another... What would I even take? Go for like the double memes? In the end, I'll take back a combustion that I get got rid of, because I, I like Solar Storm stuff a lot. We have countdown. Oh man, these suck. I guess I'll take this for a little bit more damage. I guess the debuff success rate also gives 10 crit chance. My heal engage won't be protected that often, so maybe I'll do it like this. Good enough just uh, finish up this run. I think we should be fine from here. It's mostly just struggling and comes to this. Now we're good. Man, these guys are annoying. Whatever, all the buffs should like kill them. I guess I should fix a um, 
solar flame skill in the end, so I'll fix prominence. Yeah, I really don't like this high mana stuff, it's never worth it. Uh, I'll still get rid of flame over arrow over dark sun. Okay, random relic. I'll take 6 max health. Sunring and just try and kill- wait, how much does this do? 47, okay, kill it. Perfect. Oh, I could have drawn. Whatever, everything should just die here. Where's my damage? Attack plus 20%, accuracy minus 8. Actually, okay, losing accuracy is bad. I shouldn't do that. I guess I just won't equip that. Okay, crit chance plus 17%. Take that over that. And it gives me barrier synergy. Guess I'll just not equip these. Just have the whatever. We're here for two stacks. I'll draw two. Sun ring a bit late, but Nice damage. Not even below half HP. I'm just gonna assume Shockwave can one shot this turn, so I'm gonna go for max overheal. Actually, there's not that much overheal to be had. Oh wait no, that that alone just kills it. Okay, never mind. Oh come on, it's the last one. It's not that much damage. this will do 120 right now I can double bloody moon so that one added essentially 33 so it wouldn't one shot these guys I'll just play front line cover still play this. Oh, it crit. I forgot to account for critting.
whatever, we got burnt, but I don't want to stall this fight anymore, so we just kill these. I should just kill, right? Switch my fixed abilities, I think. No, 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 I think everything's fine. Okay, so I probably want to duel the uh, punishment if I can. Solar Storm's probably better off as like a draw three, draw four. Shield charge order. Um, I guess I do want to get two stacks of this on him first before playing everything else so I can be more efficient. This does not stack right, yeah. A bit sad, but. Do I care about stunning him? So where's my card draw? Whatever. Okay, there's card draw. I think I can do a lot of damage this turn. Uh, with this, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, actually, I don't want to shield charge this turn. I guess I'll let him shackle. It's a bit awkward. Okay, at least we save the mana for this turn. So it's okay. damage, so it's still quite a ways off. Uh, I guess I'll have to kill the pillar. Order will be awkward, so if we do this first, we'll jump to the top. Basically, no matter what I do, I can't play two cards, then shield charge. If I can heal first, and then shield charge, then that's okay. I guess I have a lot of pellets, so I'll pellet this. That feels like a waste, actually, so I'll save my one mana. And I want to apply prominence, or I mean solar flame first, and then heal. Also, there's my healing finally at the bottom of my deck. I mean my draw. Oh, come on, just search more. Whatever, who cares about that? Okay, protecting gas can block the shackles. 
I think I want to save it for next phase, though. Oh, no, I should have done that on the TV. They won't uh, face him this turn. But I should be able to next turn, right? This is so annoying. Why is it. <laughs> Between the twins, this is always the worst possible two that they can pick. Um, yeah. I think I do enough uh, without Helio here because we stopped the solar flame ticking. Maybe not. This should be fine. Change of plans first. Draw. Okay, there we go. So I guess I'll just let him hit. And then stun. And then, uh, protecting gas. And heal up this turn. Oh, I can draw as well. Oh, it works like that? Okay, well, um... Whatever, if someone gets shackled this turn, sure. Not a big deal. It's Sunring Valley. Might as well prominence before I discard everything. turn it's fine. Oh wait, it died in anyways. Um So grab stuff. Frontline cover, sure. Now I have healing age protection and shield charge. Throw it down to like the lowest max HP. Just the twins. And then uh, it doesn't really matter if I get hit here. I should try and draw some though. I guess he can duel him. Which prominence first. It's free. And I'm like way over healing it. I should just save it. Prominence next turn, so after it wears off. This turn, I'll just try and make use of everything. Get a huge shield charge.
<laughs> it crit 239. Okay, pretty good. Actually, with this kill, I'm oh, not quite. I'll just wait then. It doesn't even do damage because we have barriers. Yeah, where's your da Oh wait, I should have prominence. Yeah, where's your damage, bro? It's not quite enough. This should be enough. Yeah, nice try, bro. Easy. Man, what a solid run. The, uh, constant verge of death through the Crimson Wilderness, but we did it. like the um extra feature at the end where you can see like your run stats or whatever now i think oh yeah instead of showing like the ticking upwards now we can see everything wow look at all this you can see like the 10 billion items used Does it not show potions used? I used, I definitely used some, some potions in uh, Crimson Wilderness. Oh, yeah, very exciting run. <laughs>